All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. So after I want to say at least a week of just straight grinding, we finally were able to beat the final boss king event on the highest difficulty, the hell difficulty, right? Which was amazing. I was super, super happy about it, but Honestly, I wasn't that satisfied with the score that I got. I mean, we are in like the top 2% uh, of all players, which is nice. 1.52% to be exact, but I just feel like I could have done a lot better. So the plan in today's video is to clear the event once again on Hell, hopefully set a new high score, and cement our place in, let's say, the top 1% of all players on global that would make me really really happy i mean i'm not looking for like top three or even top 100 i think that's kind of out of reach but top one percent should definitely be possible so yeah that's the plan that's what we're gonna do here and without further ado let's jump in and uh, get the first run started i mean the first time i beat this it took me about 10 to 15 tries so I wouldn't be surprised if it takes us multiple attempts in this video. Of course, I will be doing some cuts if that's, you know, the case. You guys don't have to sit through the entire process. But uh, here's the team, guys. Here's the team that I used to beat it the first time. We got Escanor, we got Green Elizabeth, Elaine, as well as uh, Jillian. Jillian, of course, is only here for a passive. That's literally it. Her cards are pretty much useless. And uh, Elaine is very useful on this event, guys. She removes alt gauge and she also decreases skill ranks. Super, super clutch. Elizabeth, a lot of healing. And of course, Escanor, just pure damage while also being able to remove uh, some buffs as well, right? So we're going to use the CC food here because we need to be above 150k CC to make sure we go first on both phases. That is super, super key. And here we go, guys. First attempt. Hopefully last attempt, but like I said, it could take a few tries, man. It, there's a lot of RNG involved here. We need to get the right cards at the right time when we need them. And that obviously isn't always what happens, right? So we're going to try our best. We're going to try our best. All right. Um, we got a couple of Escanor cards here, which is actually pretty nice. Um, I want to build up Escanor's alt as quickly as possible here. So... We're going to obviously target King. Yo, you guys will not believe how many times I started an event and uh, didn't target King and had to restart. Because if you don't target King, they're just going to attack like this guy right here and you can't kill him. So it's just a wasted turn, right? Which you can't have. You need to use every single turn you possibly can. Okay, so we're going to go with like that. I want to save the Cruel Sun, but I also want to build up his alt gauge. So I'm a little bit unsure about what to do here, to be honest. But I think... I think, I think we should still use the Cruel Sun and then into a Hulk Smash. I mean, I know it's called something else. I don't remember the name, but I just call it Hulk Smash because that's pretty much what it is. Elegant Blow. Yeah, no, Hulk Smash sounds way better than Elegant Blow. Let's be real. Okay, we're getting a bunch of Elizabeth cards. We're also getting an Escanor card so we can get that ult next turn. Um. Okay, we just need some more Elaine cards though. We definitely need some more Elaine cards. Uh, he hit us really hard there. Okay, so we're not going to be able to remove alt. So that's kind of the situation where you're like, man, RNG is screwing me right now because I can't remove any alt with a level one lane card, right? So let me think. We can decrease his skill rank because he has a gold card coming, which is super annoying. Um, so, okay, let's go with debuff or buff removal and then we'll heal and then we'll go into a hulk smash and the next turn we will use the Escanor alt and take out a good chunk of his hp we don't want to kill him though we don't want to kill him because uh, we need to set up a second alt before the next phase starts so that's also key all right so we're gonna get ulted here it's okay though we can survive it it's not gonna do that much damage to us especially because we removed the attack buffs um, that one hit hurt a bit though. That one hurt a bit. Good thing is we do have the Elizabeth alt on the way, so we can heal pretty much back to full. And, uh, I'll use another heal here as well. Yo, can, can you, game, can you give me some Elaine cards though? 
We need those lane cards right now. Okay, perfect. Everybody is back to full health. Everybody is back to full. Yo, okay, there's a lane card. There is an lane card. We 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 definitely cannot afford to be ulted again. Like we can survive that first ult. That's okay, but a second ult is a is a no go. Okay, so let me see here. What is the play? Um. Okay, so we're gonna remove his alt with Elaine, and then I think we just remove his buffs as well, and then we have the Elizabeth alt, I believe, next turn as well, so we can heal back to full once again, or uh, you know, close to full, close to full. Oof, okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, okay, so we're gonna heal, Hulk smash, I think we have to kill him this turn actually, I don't know if we can, but we kind of have to, he's gonna ult us again, what a douche, oh my god, okay, <laughs> um, I'm a Elaine ult to ensure the kill. Yeah, we should be okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. So we are we're doing okay here. We're doing okay here. Um Got a nice alt set up for the next turn. And then we can potentially heal back up with Elizabeth's alt again if we get another Elizabeth card. Hopefully that drops. And also we need another Elaine card. Okay, let's see what King's cards look like. Wait, there's a gold card coming. There's a gold card coming. Uh, good thing is we can decrease skill ranks, which is awesome. Um, okay, so let's go like this. There's the Elizabeth alt for next turn. And then we're going to decrease skill ranks on King. And we're going to alt with Escanor. And then we need to alt like, as soon as possible again with Escanor. So hopefully get a few Escanor cards coming up. Yo, there's so many things going on. That's kind of the main issue um, with this event, right? It's like <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be thinking about so many things. Like you gotta remove skill ranks, you gotta remove alt gauge, you gotta try to build up your alt as well. Um, it's just crazy, man. It's just a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so he's not ulting this turn, which is amazing. Um, we're gonna decrease skill ranks once again. We're gonna heal back up to full. And. Oh man, yo, I, I kinda wanna use more Eskinor cards, but I don't think we really have an option here. I don't think we have an option here, really. So maybe instead of decreasing skill ranks, I should use two Eskinor cards. Well, let, me let me think about this, guys. Let me, let me think this through. Um. So Escanor's at zero alt gauge. Even if we use two of his cards, we get two from the Elizabeth alt. We're still not gonna have a full alt. So I think it's better to decrease his skill ranks right now. Although if we use the lane card and we don't get any more lane cards to remove alt, then we're still screwed, right? then I don't think Eskinor can survive a gold card and a silver card. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> this is tough. Um, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna alt with Elizabeth. And then... I think I am going to decrease skill ranks. And then Hulk smash. Okay. Oh man, man oh man, just please give me two Elaine cards, be very kind to me, oh my god. Yeah, see if we hadn't, if we hadn't decreased his skill ranks, we would have been dead anyways, but now he's gonna ult and... We're still dead. <laughs> That's the thing with this event, man. Like, 
even if you have a good thing going, if you have a good run going, you still get screwed sometimes. If you just don't get the right card draw. Um, I feel like I played that right. I mean, maybe, maybe you guys can let me know if I misplayed, but I feel like I played that right. It's just not much I can do here. All right. Um, you know, he'll set up the Eskinor alt and then decrease skill ranks. Doesn't really matter though, we're screwed. We're dead. He's gonna kill us next turn. Uh, if only, if only we got the two Elaine cards. Well, hey, look, good thing is we still have Jillian, right? We still have Jillian, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing, man. Jillian can't do anything. Okay, so that's an L. Here we go. Second attempt. Hopefully it goes better than the first one. Although the first one actually was going pretty well. Um, if we got that extra Elaine card and removed his alt, I think we would have been able to beat it. Because we had the Escanor alt coming, right? Like that was set up. It's just, we didn't get that card. We didn't get that card. It's okay though. It's okay. Like I said, it happens. I expect it to happen. Second attempt, hopefully this goes better. Hopefully get a little bit luckier. Hopefully Arn Jesus blesses us a little bit more than he did last time. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna go with a couple Escanor cards here. He's gonna ult next turn. Um, I'm really banking on the fact that he doesn't kill Escanor here. Although he might. He, he just might. Well, that was awful. Um, <laughs> third time's the charm, right? Third time's the charm. Let's keep going, man. I'm going to do this. Like, uh, no matter what, it's going to happen. All right, it might take four attempts, five attempts, ten attempts. Either way, we're going to do this. I set out to do it. It's going to happen. And I don't care how many potions it takes. I don't care how much food it takes. We're going to do this, guys. We're going to do this, man. We're not giving up. That's for sure. Okay, so this... This attack does 810% damage. Is that is that enough? <laughs> There's no way it's enough. There's no way. But we can try. We can try. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if Jillian... Whoa! 71k? Okay. Okay. Did I say third time's the charm? No, actually I meant fourth time is guaranteed success okay so <laughs> let's keep going i'm gonna run out of cc food soon but we still have like six or seven so hopefully it doesn't take that many more tries to actually beat this you know what if we went cruel sun into two level two cards that would set up the alt nicely for the next phase. Okay, we got a crit here. Come on. We got a crit here. No. Oh my god. Yo. I've got nothing else to say. We're just gonna we're just gonna jump into it, man. Oh, of course. Okay. That's the third stamina potion we've used in this video. And uh, there could still be more. There could still be more. <sighs> at least each stamina potion pretty much gets us two runs at this point. So it's like, you know, not, not that big of a waste. Staying alive, just barely. <laughs> and it's over. If we, had, if we had another lane card, maybe we could have survived? Maybe? But that's not how these things work. That's just not how the, these things go. <sighs> and... I targeted King Re No! No! 
Man, I'm so dumb. Always remember, always remember to target King. How do I, how do I still mess that up? After this many attempts, I still mess that up. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> what have I gotten myself into, man? Dude, why is this so hard? Why is it so hard? I, I don't even remember it being this difficult the first time around. Like, how did I even beat it the first time? God, I hate this event so much. Um, I don't even know what this is anymore. Yeah, it's attempt 13, 14, 15, 100. <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? All I know is I've burned through a ton of stamina potions at this point. I know we can do this. Yo, this is the closest we've gotten, but it's just not enough, guys. It's just not enough. Yeah, that's a big rip. That is a huge rip. Oh my god. This dude had like 5 HP left. Okay, attempt number uh, 5 million. Jumping in. We're definitely getting closer with every single attempt. You know, like every single attempt we're getting a little bit closer. And a little bit closer. And a little bit closer. It's not close enough. Alright, we're back. I actually had to take a break for a while because I needed to charge my phone. I tried so many times that it actually died. So um, I don't know what attempt this is. I don't know how many times we tried, but that should give you an idea. Alright, my phone started at 100% or like close to 100 we first started filming this video and uh, it, it died so uh i mean this phone has a pretty big battery it usually lasts like a day and a half to two days if i don't play too much um so yeah i mean to be fair this game takes a lot of battery so i would say like in total we probably tried for about like three hours maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more i don't even, I, I don't even know man i just i just i just want to finish this I really do, guys. I just want to get this out of the way. Um, <laughs> this is too much. This is too much. Okay, uh, here we go. We'll just do some things. I don't even know. I don't even know if I care anymore. Maybe at this point, because I don't care, we'll finally be able to beat it. You know what I mean? It's like, usually in life, I feel like when you don't care is when you succeed the most. Maybe that's just BS. I don't know, man. But I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping. We're getting some good cards here. You guys, we're really good cards here. We got uh, an Escanor card that can bind. If we use that, then we'll get the Escanor ult next turn. Um, we we'll also have a couple of Elaine cards, but I don't really want to use that because I don't want them to, to combine because I want to use them individually to decrease skill rank twice, right? So let's just use one. Let's get that ult. Let's also remove... Oh, crap. Actually, that's out of order. I should have done... The ignite first. Damn. Okay. So that was a bit of a misplay, but we should still be okay. We should still be okay. Another Elaine card. I love it. I love it. All right. So we got altered there. No big deal. Just a level one attack right there, and we're gonna combine the Elizabeth cards. Combine the Elizabeth cards. We're gonna heal up. And then we're going to ult with Escanor. Okay, that wasn't as much healing as I thought we would get. But it's okay. Um, We do have the Elizabeth ult this turn, so... You know, we'll heal back up. It's all good. Hmm. Damn. Okay, we're getting close to dying. Which obviously is not ideal. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna heal, and we're going to we're gonna take away his ult. We're gonna take away his ult. Get Hulk smash. He's still alive, which is actually a good thing. 
There we go. Removed three. Nice. Oh, she's putting in work, man. It's putting in work. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, so he has no ult this turn, but he does have two gold cards. Um, I think we need to go for the kill here. I think we need to go for the kill here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so go with that. Go with the Hulk smash. And another Elizabeth card. Is she gonna have alt next turn? Oh, she does. Oh, she doesn't. Okay, we need a heal card right here. We need a heal card because otherwise we're still gonna die to this King's attacks. We need Eskinor to survive. So we can so we can ult twice, right, on this stage. That's that's the thing that's um I've been I've been missing this entire time. We need to, we need him to ult twice, but I just keep dying before that happens. Oh god, okay. Um oh yo, we can make it all level one cards. If only we had a heal, it would have guaranteed our our survival, but Okay, you know what? This isn't isn't terrible. Not terrible. Uh, no, let's ignite first. I keep forgetting to ignite first. Ignite first, skill rank, and alt. Man, I have I haven't gotten a single crit this entire time. Like how how high is his how high is his crit resistance, man? It's gotta be something crazy. It's gotta be something crazy. There's a heal. Oh, but we can't remove alt. Oh, we're still screwed. Oh, we're so screwed. We are so screwed. It doesn't even matter what happens here. Oh. Oh, he did an ult. What? Okay. Um. He got a heal for sure. Then. I mean, yeah, we're not doing much damage here, though, unfortunately. That heal didn't really heal much for much. Does he disable heal or something? Like, why do we heal for so little? Hmm. Well, either way, that's yeah, that's instant death right there. Um, we might still be able to kill him without Eskinor. It's possible. It's possible. So, go with this. Go with that. I go with that. At 37k, yeah, we can do good amount of damage with the girls. We just need a lot of cars to combine. You know what I mean? We just need those cars to combine. Um, we are. You know, we're, we're as close as we've been this entire time. This is the closest we've been. Okay. Uh, remove. And then... I guess a couple of... Jillian cards. If we can get Jillian ult and also... Elaine ult next turn. Which I think we will. We might actually have this. Oh, this is it, guys. I think we have this. If we don't, then we're dead. Because he's going to ult us. Oh, please don't kill her. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay. Um, I think we got this. I think we got this. Okay, so Jillian, obviously, six out of six. Elaine, I could have gotten her to, I think, like four or five out of six, but unfortunately, I used the dupes for kings. So I kind of regret that now, but I think we can still do this. Yo, this actually might be the victory, guys. This might be it. Yo. Yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Yo, please be a higher score. Please give me a higher score. 2300, 2200. Okay, okay, higher score. Okay, higher than last time. I don't remember what we got, 2180. So it's like 100 higher or just under. I don't even care, man. We beat it. We finally beat it. Yo, after like 20... Uh, 1.38%. <laughs> Yo, I was hoping that like that 
I was hoping that like there was like a just a big you know bottleneck of people, not bottleneck. Um, what was the word? Basically, just like a big group of people that were like you know around like twenty one hundred points or so, and then getting a little bit more would put me over the top for one percent. So we went from one point five eight percent, I think, at the beginning of this video to one point three three eight percent. So we went up we went up by two point two percent. I can't even talk right now. I'm just too flustered after so many attempts it's stupid was it worth it no it absolutely was not worth it i would not recommend anybody to do this okay i do not recommend anybody to do this but that being said it feels good to know that like you know the hard work that we put in today actually had a payoff like if i went the whole day you know trying this for like three hours and not doing it and not fit actually beating him at least once for the video I would have been just like so frustrated for the whole day, man. I would have, I, I wouldn't have been able to sleep, honestly. Like, I would just not be able to live with myself. So at the very least, we got it done. And that's all that matters. So like I said, guys, this team can do it. Um, ideally, you should get some better equipment than I have right now. I'm still working on it. You should probably, if you can, maybe get your lane to like level 65, 70, something like that. No, I do not want to do extreme crimson right now. I don't want to play this game right now. Uh, <laughs> that's the video guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you um hopefully you enjoyed watching me suffer because suffer i did yo there's a reason why this difficulty is called hell man i was put through hell today i really was but we came out victorious we came out the other end champions and uh even though we didn't get to our goal of top you know one percent right I mean, at the very least, I'm guaranteed to be top 5%. So I'm going to get all the rewards by the end of the week. So that's good. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm good. I'm not doing this ever again. I quit. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed watching my suffering. I mean, you guys seem to enjoy watching me get shafted in summons. So this is kind of, you know, more suffering in a different way, right? But that's it. That's the video. We did it. I'm out. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.